I'm telling you about Death Stranding. I've been mm-hmm. all up in that ass when it comes to Death Stranding. Uh, so for like a good did, week. Did Norman Reedus punch you for being all up in that ass? <laughs> I tried that a little bit. I just did it once. I was like, okay, I'm good. Because <laughs> I saw so much footage of that leading up to the game. It's yeah. like, that's fine. I need to push it. I don't want to put. I don't want to piss off Mr. Reedus. Like, <laughs> yeah. what if I meet him in real life and he knows? Right. He probably knows. <laughs> Like, hey guy, did you do that to me? Um, yeah, it was. It's. It's. I'm loving it. It's uh, pretty interesting to get over the hump of, of the initial a couple of hours of it, mm. and because it does really start to pay off more and more. And that was one thing I was reading about the game. And it's such a weird conversation when you see that as a tagline, where it's like the game doesn't get good until 40 hours. Mm. That's not accurate. At the same time, there is a bit of a hurdle where mm. it's like you have to kind of get familiar with the mechanics. And the world, and once you start to understand it, you're like, oh, okay, and you have more fun with mm-hmm. what's going on. That aside, the storyline is fucking bonkers. Like, it doesn't make right. any sense, but in the best way, in the, in the Kojima way, it doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense because they keep adding new stuff that, <laughs> that's just out of left field. It's almost like if he he should be the next guy to reboot Lost, the TV show, <laughs> and just go just super <laughs> out of left field with it because he's very much with, like, I, I might answer one question, but I'm going to add 10 more to you, to what you're experiencing. Can you imagine Lost with, like, Kojima-ass names? <laughs> That's another thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, what do you do? Oh, I deliver pizzas. All right, you're pizza guy. Uh, what do you do? You mow the lawn? Yeah, you're lawn guy. Like, it's like, it's that in this world. But, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very literal with what's going on with the names. But nice. I'm, I'm loving it. I, like, I'm, I keep staying yeah. up late nights playing this game. I didn't expect to like it so much. I remember reading a lot of the the mixed reviews where it's like the gameplay isn't there or the story's too much, but everything is clicking with me um, to the point where I'm having a blast. Uh, I really liked Metal Gear Solid five though. That was the first one much like that uh, star Wars lady. That was the first Metal Gear Solid that I legitimately played was the last Metal Gear Solid that just came out. You can kind of, uh, five was the last one. That was, well, the last one in the storyline anyways. Okay. You can't really play them that out of order. You can't. And that was the first one I played in, but it was fine. Cause I, I had a general sense of what's, and I've watched plenty of videos of explaining yeah. the whole storyline. But for me, the gameplay was so tight with the last one yeah. where they had all these cool mechanics and they all layered in the right way. And that gameplay loop was, was so addictive mm-hmm. for, and that stuff carried over with this one where it's like, you could tell a lot of the influence from the last game carried over here with the, the way the mechanics are so deep and how you have to, when you're, you're it's basically like a climbing simulator and yeah. you have to like legitimately hold on or control your balance. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like a very boring, dumb aesthetic to have to control your balance in a video game, but it actually works for this, this, this game. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm loving it. The somebody, world is beautiful too. Somebody kind of compared it to like a, like a quap, like that running game I showed you last oh, right. week or yeah. like a, or like a getting over it with Ben and Foddy where it's just yep. like, Part of the gameplay is the shitty controls, which <laughs> yeah. can totally work. You got your you got your Katamaris, which right. I would say that's more just like I just want to absorb more of this game into my face simulator, <laughs> so I'll put up with whatever you got. Exactly. Um, no, there's there's a uh, something to that. Like even look at old Resident Evil, uh, the, those initial releases. The gameplay was limited, but that's what also was addicting about it it's like you yeah. couldn't see everything that also was a survival horror aspect to it but with here it's like it's an overload of options or things you have to worry about but that's what makes it fun in the first mm-hmm. place is having to worry about plan your route and, and think about what's going on the enemies in the game are these like weird trans-dimensional you know beings and they're terrifying as shit like they're so fucking scary because you don't you can't see them so right. they're just all around and if you fuck up, that means you have to redo it again. So that's what makes it extra scary. The fact that you don't want to have to redo the level. Yeah. So it's terrifying. Um, but uh, in super polished, uh, I'm a big fan. Nice. I'm really excited to see. There was something in the news about him announcing that he's working on his next project. So mm-hmm. I'm interested to see like what that is. And I feel like it's knowing... It's just Norman Reedus. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> his acting is is fine. I'm, it's, he's getting He's opening up more and more. In these later stages of the game, I'm I'm almost done with the game, um, but there's the other supporting cast is really good too. Um, so actually, the acting's on point, but it also has that weirdness that you would expect with like I guess a Kojima game, like the way they deliver the lines is kind of weird, but that's part of it. Camp is part of his shtick. That is, he's the the king of camp for sure. 